Hello, viewers. I'm SB, and welcome back to Beneath the Resa, uh, where I'm looking at these expeditions that are being offered, and I gotta say, I feel like the Crystal Miners Guild here is just worse than the Apprentice of the Medicum. Like, unless the thought is that you might lose the run before you get to your first rest, gaining the 10 max HP is just, it's, I mean, it's plainly so much better. This, uh, this whole expedition system is, is kind of weird. I like the idea of being offered up a bunch of different random modifiers, some of them with higher difficulty than others, but the balance on them is definitely strange. Uh, so this thing with the uncertainty and the revelation, I just don't think it's very interesting. I, I'm inclined to just go Apprentice of the Medicum, right? This is, this is a good one. This is fine. And we are trying to figure out how to get a win in with the Guild of the Ruin Fairs here. Now, so far, the thing that has been true of both of our successful runs is that they have had a nerd in them in some capacity. So I am wondering if that is where we're going to have to go again. Um, also, all the characters involved have been have been girls, so that's something. Maybe there's a lesson to learn there. I have to say, I really do like a cursed gunman, though. Yeah, we're going to try with Flynn again, I think. Now, who is going to make a sensible companion? I really do like the idea of, of the frenzy thing. It's just like, there are certain fights where you don't get to activate it. And if you spend a lot of resources building up your companionship, you know, you've taken a lot of choices to build up companionship over, say, other things. And then you get into one of those fights with like a 400 health enemy who doesn't have any adds or one of the few bosses that doesn't spawn any creatures. Um, it feels like the whole thing falls apart. Uh, Sandra gives this stuff that I just don't, that I just don't know if I think is any good at all. I mean, Sahoma's, Sahoma's always going to be a powerful, um, a powerful companion, right? The extra Anticorum, the b better card rewards, although, you know, who knows exactly what that means. The individual cards she gives you, they're all really strong. But I would like to... I would like to not be so reliant on her. So you have all these bonuses in Elite Combats. I mean, Tyranny Hill's Hunger is certainly good against bosses and stuff. You know what? I'm going to take Doltar because I'm curious if champion combats are a kind of elite combat. I don't think I was really paying attention or it's been quite a while since we've had him. And I don't know if his abilities are active on bosses. If they are, then he's a lot more interesting. If they aren't, he seems that, that would seem like a crazy design, right? Let's let's take him and see. Let's go find out. Doltar, you're with me. Sorry about your name. Parents are doing you no favors. Uh, yeah, I love rewards. I love to receive rewards. Hey, what a surprise. This is a pretty, ba <laughs> pretty bad hand. Uh, let's ammo trick right now. Show me some more. Okay, well, I mean, it gets me, it gets me a quick shot. So that'll let us drop one of the enemies. Random foe gains five fury. Okay, so it, it would seem like this guy is probably the one to kill, even if he wasn't the highest damage. Do I want to ammo trick again? I think we can afford to. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So we're getting... We're kind of close to being able to kill two of them. All right. Let's just take those shots. And then, actually, do I want to just take cover twice and not take any damage? Yeah, I guess so.
pretty straightforward. This one is gain five shield. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let me let me see if we can draw something interesting. I probably should have done this like earlier. For each bullet in the cylinder. I mean, that's fine. We'll just we'll just take cover. Who would have thought? Turns out literally the first combat of the game, pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I do... Ooh, I like Scavenge Demise a lot, too. I was going to say, I actually do really like Modular Drone. Yeah. I'm going to take the drone. Always either having... An extra bullet, or if you have too many bullets, an extra shot is really nice. I, I guess heal 10. As we pass through these magic mushrooms, just go ahead and breathe those spores. Why not? Why wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, give me loot. Give me, give me something fun. Uh, okay, yeah, blue spice is, blue spice is potentially interesting. I guess let's hit Oblique Absorption. I'm going to Ammo Trick as well here. Um, do I want to hold Drain Rancor? Let's take Drain Anger. We're definitely going to Ammo Trick. Uh, hmm. My deck is pretty green. I don't know that I think uh, Cobalt Roulette is necessarily going to get us anything. There we go, and we could just play Bouncing Hit instead. So... I feel a lot better about that. And then, do we just have the kill? Ah, Modular Drone is just slightly doing the wrong thing for us here. There we go. Now the modular drone's given us what we need. Although I guess I had dreadful puncture. You know what? We'll just use the dreadful puncture. Uh, proximity protocol gets you a new attack if you're out of attacks. That's interesting. Or dodge and shoot is a reasonable amount of armor and also it draws you a card of your choice. Yeah, that's that's very solid. Uh, hell yeah, max HP and Antecorum. I would love to get back up to, like, 210. Uh, ooh, wow, Frozen Darkness seems really quite weak. Like, if that car, if, if that Antecorum didn't have the when you are bloodied thing on it, I still wouldn't think it was good. <laughs> if, it, if it was always functional, I still, like, like, this, this card gives you, I don't know, in a lot of cases two to three uh, armor per turn. It's not really not really fantastic. Uh, it's hard for me to believe as much as I like unrivaled cards. Like, it's getting garbage out of our deck is pretty good, right? We do need to learn some more attacks, though, so that we can make a better... Uh, we can make more interesting use of effects that improve our cards. Okay, Drain Resentment is not what I was looking for. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm going to fire this off too. Let's grab Quick Shot now while we can. Got our Modular Drone again. So the poor fire, the improvise triggered because we pulled poor fire off of an ammo trick. It was aware of the ammo trick we played to grab it, which is pretty cool. Uh, so one, two, 
three, four, five. I did, I did the best I could. Uh, let's ammo trick before we do anything else. Okay, nothing that directly gives me bullets. Grim duality is not useful directly at the moment. I don't know, bullets in theory. I was really hoping to draw some more ammo, but apparently not in the cards. Could have been worse. All right, pretty bummed out to see no attacks, like right off the bat. <laughs> Digital premonition's kind of interesting. Uh, unproved loader is sometimes going to do literally nothing. It's, it's not clear to me whether this is gain zero to three shells in the sense of like, it'll give you as many as you can hold up to three, or if it's a randomly generated number between zero and three, uh, obviously, that card, the one that can just randomly do nothing when you play it, is pretty bad. Yeah, I don't know, and I don't trust it. I'm going to take Digital Premonition, but for real, we got to get some attacks in this deck. Uh, wow. The exceptional cards are not, I mean, they're not that great. I'm going to just really lean in on that one shot because we're going to try to take as many of the others out of the deck as possible, right? Uh, let's increase companionship. So, like, at what point do the elites become easier than the normal fights? Hard to say. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. So everybody's in shield mode. Everybody's got 50 health. It's uh, supremely annoying, actually. We're going to go for additional bullets this fight. Now, the good news is I started with 30 shield. Uh, let's ammo trick a little bit. That's... That's okay, I guess. So they are identical. All right. Nice of y'all to let me actually shoot you now. Once again, really wish we had the quick shot here. Uh, yeah, give me a drain. Okay, drain anger is kind of what I was looking for. What is the green one? The green one is gain a bullet. Okay. Let me go hunting here. Oh, I, <clears throat> a little bit of a finger twitch. I was trying to read that. And of course, it faded when I played it, so. Uh, you know, Fading Echoes is interesting. Let's drop the premonition. And the dodge and shoot and the... I want to get my channel. So you're dead, and then we are only taking 17 damage, which obviously is not a big deal. And they do just Im immediately go into uh, into the blocks, huh? All right, let's gain a pact. Yo, Plight is a fun card. Probably not the thing we need right now. Everything in life has its price. Huh. I am going to take this. We're going to look for... A zero cost attack. Okay. So no plight for me. We'll just keep it in the deck, I guess, for the rest of the round and 
or for the rest of the fight and hopefully find a use for it. Okay, and then it's like the end of next round. So this effect is on the target. Oh, the uh, the lose one bullet was was now. It was not connected to the. Okay. I thought it was at the end of the next round. The foe is going to take this damage, and also you will gain a bullet at that time. So we're going to gain a bullet, then a pulse. That's pretty great, actually. It's a pretty great set of uh, of things here. All right, we'll just shield up. Uh, there's not really any sense in shooting at you. Yeah, okay. Let's just get a new round when he's not blocking anymore. Bye-bye. Blight's pretty okay, huh? Uh... The first foe to act each combat. So Doomed Horizon will be, you know, you'd hope that your boss will get this, but honestly, it'll probably end up being one of the initially spawned minions. 50% chance to gain two pulse when combat begins is like very whatever. Yeah, all right. Each combat gain one distance control. I don't even know what distance control is. Hmm. Healing at the beginning of every elite combat is definitely interesting. More Anticora are obviously, you know, obviously compelling as well. Let's remove some take covers. All right, let's just attack straight there. Okay, so we have a fair amount of damage going on here right away. Yeah, I guess we just jump the distant guy, right? Honestly, that big burst of, uh, of armor right at the beginning of a fight is super nice. Uh, Grim Duality is going to gain me control. It's really annoying that you have 15 HP. Whatever, we'll just take it. Would be really cool if I could jump over into your zone. Let's see if we can find a way. Bouncing hit, not what I'm looking for. Explosive round is similarly very not what I'm looking for. And I don't have a free attack in my discard pile. Well. Ten shield's really not all that impressive. I think I'm probably just gonna... Yeah, let's just explosive round, soften them both up. Bouncing hit is a lot less compelling when it itself has fleeting. Okay. Distance control. Do one of these things. I don't know that it matters terribly. That's a cool idea, though. Distance control. Um... Emma trick me. I mean, that's fine. This draws a card. I think we'll just we'll just cover up. It's fine. I do want to regain some ammunition. Shield. 
Show me a cool pact. You know, plight, honestly, will do just fine. Healed up the, uh, <laughs> the damage we were going to take from the death. A little preemptive healing. Uh, I do kind of like the Omega Emitter. I got to say that. Optimetabolizer is interesting. I'm going to pick up the Omega Emitter. Get a couple of free shots and then like a couple of shots that cost but are totally worth it. It's just generally good. So, foes, we saw how powerful all of the enemies, starting with a little bit of weakness, can be on champion fights on the last run. Oh yeah, we will absolutely endure. Eighteen is really awkward. <laughs> like we're so we're so close to a thing there. I think I'll just get you with this, and then reduce their cost by one until played. I don't know that I want to do this, I and mean, we kind of need those bullets. But I would love an attack that does just like a little bit more damage. Ugh. All right. Let's try to get lucky. Uh, Precog out this take cover and we did not draw an attack. Unfortunately, the, these cards just get further away from people, which is really not what we're looking for. And then would I rather just take cover? I think I'm just gonna take cover here. Modify some of this damage. All right, a little shielding, a little ammo. A little bit more shielding. Yeah, drain anger I think is pretty okay here. How about the grim duality of control? Is it worth playing the ammo tricks? I guess we may as well play one. Because we're going to get our special bullet plus the... Uh, plus this thing for free. Don't love being at 83 already. We're doing an okay job of controlling our ammo at least. Okay, yeah, we, we desperately need to just, like, take red cards. <laughs> kind of whatever red card is offered to us. Okay, cool. And bouncing hit is really good when it's a real card that's actually in your deck. Okay, now the moment of truth. Oh, hey, it's the Horde. No, I did not start with the bonus shielding. They didn't get the weakness. Yeah, that I think makes Doltar pretty bad. So we're going to take just a just a absolutely terrifying amount of damage. Uh Need the ammo trick to try to find some way to get closer. Did not find it. Okay, that'll work though. Drain hostility gets me where I need to go. So, he's in this mode. Each of their allies near you takes five damage that was intended for you. I think we just kill him. But I did want to get over here. Uh, we can definitely Omega-1, and then... Yeah, this is fine. So we're still taking 25. I guess let's dodge and shoot. Definitely get the take covers out of there. Uh, and 
the straight shot. Okay. It's not too much damage. I feel like we're we're controlling things all right. So that guy is debuffing me and dealing damage to me. Which feels rude. Well, there's my bouncing hit, but sadly, uh, it did not give me any bullets. Probably don't want to play ammo trick just looking for stuff to do. I think we'll just go ahead and end the turn here. I can definitely see how this, the setup of this deck would have some problems in long-term fights. Uh, let me... Pull this. Gain two cards and two pulse, but lose a fury each time we play a card this round. I don't think we have any sources of fury, really. All right, pair of straight shots. Not really what I was looking for. Well, I guess let's excuse ourselves. Okay, I think we're basically uh, basically good here. We have a ton of pulse to work with. No bullets though. Throwing grenades for the for the fun of throwing grenades. I don't think I'm gonna do the other ammo trick because we probably won't need the bullet. There, see, we all do it. It's a lot of fun to just toss a grenade at your own feet. Why, why wouldn't you? That modular drone is wonderful here. Any bullets at all are so welcome. Uh, let's ammo trick once. Yeah, okay. Not super happy with that. We're going to draw a card when we play the second one. Okay, it was a pretty alright card. It did, in fact, do some things. Unfortunately, I don't feel like I'm getting much of a, much of a handle on this. We don't actually have to destroy the flag bearer first, right? Like, I don't think there's any super pressing reason to do that. I think I'm just getting back the big straight shot, honestly. Eight damage to each foe will absolutely work. And then I'm actually really good on shielding, but whatever. So yeah, I'm not too happy with the way it appears Doltarp works. I think that's really a problem. Uh, we can probably afford to ammo trick here. I'm just looking for bullets. Random foe takes five damage eight times. You know what? Go ahead and orbital strike my enemies. Let's see who ends up where. All right. I was kind of hoping this guy would end up low enough to kill. Pull the other ammo trick. I gotta tell you, not super happy about how little attack ability I'm finding here. We'll just take that. Finally drew another attack card. Let's get that out of there. I probably should have dropped this sp uh, spreading infection. What am I thinking? If 
maybe you do have to disable the flag bearer. I mean, in, a, in any case, we have that. How are we going to get more bullets? Uh, canny diversions, fine, but maybe not the most exciting thing right now. That's interesting. Yeah, this is rough. Uh, gain a shield there and then just some more shield. Doesn't even quite cover everything. All right, you're only at four. Purple is a uh, purple is shielding. Well, that's not ideal. Okay, chosen five. This is this is the sort of thing I was looking for. Do I want to try to kill that guy? I mean, I, I would have to draw a zero cost attack. Yeah, I don't think it's happening. We'll just accept the situation that we find ourselves in. I do only have 29 health. Probably worth uh, worth noting. With only one pulse, I'm unlikely to get another 18 damage. We certainly don't need more ammo, though. Ah, oh, bummer. Would've been really nice to have full ammo when I play this. What's the incoming damage this turn? It's like 30. I should probably stop letting this one just like uh, run to wherever they want to be, you know? So I'm only taking 19 damage here. And we do have two shield. Oh, wait, that wasn't seven. That was seven, five times. Okay. That was a multi attack, not just a seven. Well, listen, it was all just spacing because we were trying to unlock Zakan, obviously. And now we've got the, you know, the information on Doltar. We know Doltar is not, in fact, any good. And you certainly do a lot more fighting, um, fighting elites than you do fighting champions. But also, the champion fights are the hard ones. Two packaged here, base deck. Huh. But I mean, we're not doing a. I'm not going to start a new run here, but I did want to see Zikon. Uh, each fight gain a random power. Well, that's interesting. You get a polymorph gun, which turns into a choice of six actions. Okay, interesting. This sort of like playing in the true randomness. Yeah, Zakan seems really cool. Okay. I think I'm going to call it there rather than starting a new run 35 minutes into the episode. I recognize it's a little shorter than we uh, than we often do these. Um, but unfortunately, I'm a little pressed for time today. Uh, I'm a little pressed for time this week on account of having lost several days to my uh, health issues. So I'm going to call it here for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time... We're going to be trying a similar thing, but no, actually we're not. I'm not playing the same character or the same support. We're going to be trying a very different thing that is similar only in that it still revolves around an oversized revolver. And we'll see you then.